Hello, I am Bentham and welcome back to Factorio. So we finally have our iron production sorted out. We've, um, after tons of work over like two episodes, we finally got the supply enough. But of course what we need to do now is sort out copper production because now that our all our machinery can work at full capacity, our copper usage has jumped up a lot and suddenly we can't meet demand anymore. So the first thing I did was add a couple of furnaces though of course I will need to go to the actual mining base and upgrade uh, the mining rate there so that it, the we get what we need what uh, you know what I mean we get enough ore and then what I do is I add some production well I, I add some solar panels to our um, solar field to increase energy production but I after checking the power levels it looks like um, we we weren't actually successfully charging up the entire accumulator network which is a bit concerning so Maybe it's because it was fairly recent that I added the new section, but I think if if it's n like taken this long for it to sort out, because I don't think I did it right at the end of last episode, then we probably need to improve the the accumulator capacity and the accumulator charging rate a bit more by adding in more solar panels before we take out the we we finally take out the steam engine. So um, I make some plans for the future by getting that stone moved out of the way yet again. And then I add on a new section of accumulators, and this should keep us going for a, a very long time, I expect, because there's not that many more systems that we need to to build at this point. We've got nearly everything being produced, only some of the, the really complicated stuff is left to do, and increasing the rate at which some stuff is made and so on. So you can see me putting in the new solar panels. And we're actually running out of space now in this little area that I, I designated for the solar field, so... Um, we're gonna have to start maybe expanding into the plains at some point or maybe I'll just build a second solar farm in the middle of the plains because that place is huge and there's just nothing in it and I might as well put something in because it's gonna be safe once I've built a, a wall in the south so you uh, what I'm doing now is wandering around checking the production rates because of course now that we've got the supply up things are going at full tilt and that means that some things are being are not maybe not being supplied as quickly as necessary and the first thing we do is sort out um, red science packs because it turns out that they have um, run out and meanwhile the other two types of science packs are running totally fine so I, I go and fix that and then I notice this circuit production isn't the best but I realize that is because the copper supply isn't good enough and I notice that the the furnaces that I built there aren't currently running so it's time to go off to the the copper outpost to check how things are going and maybe build some new well you see one of the the mining drills has run out there and I decide that I might as well just get them all built at once because it's gonna be fiddly working out step by step where to put everything so I should just do it in one go so I um, do a bit of arranging and work out a nice arrangement to use there and also I used a, a new shortcut that one of my um, one of my subscribers um, told me I, I assume he's a subscriber anyway um, that if you're holding an item and you pre you control click on something it will put that item into the machine so I did that with the effectivity modules back there and it's quite a convenient shortcut it definitely sped up the the process of filling all those up with the effectivity modules so thank you for that uh, whatever your name is I, sh I should really know these things um, it, it's because your name was longer than four letters like because I remembered Orko's name he commented twice though that was why he's commented a bunch of times now anyway um, I'm adding in yet more furnaces, which I suppose makes sense made sense to me at that point because of course we've added in an, enough mining drills for that. But the thing is, we filled up the belt with all the mining drills, and now we're going to have the same problem as we did with iron for the past two episodes of not being able to fit more on the belt than we already do. Anyway, carrying on with um, sorting out production, uh, get a bit of science on there, and I realise that now the blue science is not being produced quick enough. But that is because we are not getting um, the uh, circuits down to, to it quick enough. We're not producing them quick enough. And of course that goes back to the copper production. So I'm having a look at how things are going and I see that the belt is now full but it's not quite, it's not getting to the last like two and a half furnaces which is really annoying. So it looks like we're going to have to do some big thing about that in in the near future which is frustrating. But anyway, a little bit of maintenance on the whole coal thing there. Yeah, I think, um, considering how much coal we're getting there, it might be interesting when we finish the episode, when we finish the series, to just detonate them all 
as I did in the in the hundred subscriber video. Well, anyway, um, you may be wondering why I'm still in 0.9 at this point, and I've not switched over to 0.10. And the reason for that is that 0.10 is still an experimental update; it's in its first iteration, and so obviously there's going to be bugs. You you can expect that. So it's a bit risky to just immediately switch over to it right now. And what I would rather do is wait until it's um a stable release or maybe just a, a little bit further on to make sure that nothing will crash because it takes an hour to record these episodes and quite often I do it the day it's supposed to come out so of course if if the hour is wasted then suddenly I don't have very much time to get everything done so I will be updating to not to not point 10 at some point but not necessarily quite yet I want to make sure that everything is totally fine there. I, I have been playing on it, I've got a game going on there, and there was a crash when I tried using the new feature of the um, of the the uh, burner inserters. It only happened once, and since then I've used burn, burner inserters a bunch of times. I'm testing out new systems you can use with them now that they've been um, upgraded. Uh, but anyway, that's why I'm not um, in not point ten quite yet, and it won't make much difference because it's only really aesthetic updates. Also, I, I need to make sure that the new sounds don't sort of ruin the video quality or anything like that. But anyway, you can see I've been do, doing a bit of a few modifications to production. I've now set up processing unit production, which is basically like the third level of um, circuit. Um, and also, we've finally finished off mining that um, ore deposit of copper in the middle of our base. So now we're entirely relying in, in on um, outsourced um, mining. Everything is from outposts that are outside of our main wall. So, yeah. Now I've just noticed looking here, well actually I, I noticed in game, I just forgot, but um, the green science pack production is now not good enough. Obviously we, um, with all the upgrades to um, lab efficiency that I've done, it means that, pr that all the science packs are being consumed faster than usual and of course that means that I need to upgrade the production of them. And so I've now done that in in uh, green science packs as well. But now what we're going to do is have a little scout round here and you can see there's actually a new base that has spawned. Also I accidentally anger some aliens and then some science happens. And I decide to go on a killing spree because you see there's a nice big copper deposit down there and I would quite like to have it. And it would definitely help with our copper production so I'm flying around in my car taking some shots and then running back again and repairing. There are other ways to do this that could be quicker, but it's more dangerous to like run in yourself. And as as you've seen, that I've I've had many um, dreams of death, definitely dreams and not actual death. <clears throat> anyway, um, night has fallen, so I decide to call that off until later on when I can see what I'm doing and um, have a look at the production rates and things. I might need to do some fiddling with the iron production because at the moment one side of it is completely blocked up while the other side has space to um to flow and so something's gonna be done about that. Um so um I'm upgrading more of the production things. I'm by the end of this episode all, nearly all of the main production systems are using assembler machine assembly machine threes. Um because the thing is now that we finally got production up to that we finally got the supply of iron up, everything is suddenly going so much faster and suddenly the requirements for speed of all of the the um, assemblers is not enough and I'm having to upgrade them all at once. And also, when once you upgrade the assemblers, you start having trouble with um, with uh, inserters and what I've actually had to do is build some substations so, because I can't fit enough inserters in to get things moving at full speed and still have enough room for the actual energy poles to supply them all. So I've, I've built two substations on either side of the main production line and that should definitely help with um, with production. It, it means that there's room for all the inserters that we need to keep everything running at full pelt. Though of course one thing, w one thing we don't have to help things run at full pelt is a, a good enough supply of copper. But anyway, I uh, sort out the uh, the moving of the stone there that was going on. Also, I forget w when I did this, I I missed it, like, when I was watching through before I started um, doing the narration, and, and now when I am doing the narration, but I've actually removed the second-to-last um, steam engine. 
So now we only have one, and that one will stay until the end of the game, because we do want to have one steam engine as a backup for um, any power failures that we might have in future. But we are now running off one steam engine, and then apart from that entirely solar power, which I'm quite happy about. Anyway, um, if you noticed back a, a minute ago, I actually had to turn on all of the um, oil cracking machines to turn light oil into petroleum gas, because suddenly um, uh, consumption of plastic, I think it is, has, has gone up quite a bit. Or maybe it's it's the consumption of, sul of sulfuric acid, actually. Yeah, that'll, that'll be what it is, The all the sulfuric acid from making uh, processing units. But anyway, speaking of, a, of a advanced technologies, what I'm now doing is building electric engines which require um, lubricant uh, engines and circuits. So I've got all that hooked up and that will set off now. And in the meantime, I run off into the wilderness. You might be wondering why the hell I'm doing this, but the, if you notice, I'm looking at the map to see what I can see. And that is because I'm setting up a new radar station. I want to get the positioning right. So um, I believe you've seen me set up one of these before. That's my sort of standard system that I've used extensively across multiple playthroughs that I'm quite happy with. And you might think, well, it's not exactly the best system because um, it's being solar powered. The radar stations are off during the night, but I think that's that makes it a bit sort of cooler. By the way, I, I didn't I didn't realise there was that big vein of iron there, so it looks like this outpost is going to be around a bit longer than I thought. But anyway, I think it's cool to have the the radar stations like that because it means that in the morning, if you watch the map, you can watch them like flicker into life one by one, which is a pretty cool thing to, to watch, I, I suppose, in a way. But anyway, we're, now that we've upgraded both um, red and green science production, blue science production has a shortage, so now I fix that. And hopefully that will be enough to sort things out, maybe not, because blue always seems to need more production than everything else. I'll harvest some more processing units. Also, have a look at the engine production. Decide it needs a bit of an upgrade, it's not going fast enough. Because there's a certain thing I want to build, and you may have worked out what it is I'm m I'm going towards based on the things I'm starting to produce and the things I'm starting to research. But anyway, you'll see it shortly. So, um, seeing as it's daytime again, though I think a, 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 there's been a day-night cycle I've missed, I decided to run back and kill more aliens. I'm sorry if this is um, this makes you a bit dizzy. But it, I didn't know if it was really worth going down to normal speed for. Maybe I could have gone to two times just to make it less crazy. But what I'm doing is circling the, the big worm that's there. Because the thing about these bases down in the south is that they're, bu they're all guarded by worms. Which, if you aren't aware, are giant worms that fire homing projectiles at you. You see, it nearly got me there. I think there's one left at this point and it still nearly killed me. And it takes a lot of firepower to actually bring them down. There was only, I think, a medium one and a, and a large one in this one, so that wasn't too bad. But there's other ones where you get a ton of them, and it's going to be a real pain to deal with them. Of course, it, later on in the game, when you have much better equipment, it's easier. So you can see I'm, I'm doing a couple of passes on that um, base over there, trying to get rid of the spawners. Though at the moment, I'm not even trying to deal with the, the worms that are there. I just want to get rid of the spawners so that there's no aliens charging at me all the time. You see, uh, it's a bit hard to navigate it exactly in the dark, and I, I actually end up blowing up my car and nearly getting killed by aliens, but I managed to, to fend them off and get away. So I decided that that is enough um, hit-and-run attacks for now. I think I managed to get rid of the spawners in that base, so they'll be fine for a bit. But anyway, I can finally build what I've been working towards for quite a while in this episode so far, which is a power, which is a, a suit of power armor. Um, basically, it's the, the Iron Man suit, the one he builds in the cave. You can't deny it. If you look at the at what they look like and the equipment you can get for them, it is quite obviously the Iron Man suit. So, this is what I've, I've... like All the research, pretty much, that I've done in this episode has been towards things involved with this power armor, which you may not have even realized. So, uh, I built the power armor, and now I'm working on the, the solar panels. But no, I've got the solar panels done, so now I'm working on personal laser defense and shields. And the hope is that by next episode, well, by the end of next episode, I should be fully equipped with a lovely, awesome suit of armor that I'll be able to kill lots of aliens with. And we'll finally be able to go on a, a bunch of killing sprees and so on. So I, I don my armor and dump the old stuff in the chest. And I've put my, I believe I put the solar panels in, have I? I'm losing track of things. As always, four times speed, brain doesn't go that fast. You can see in the, in the bottom bar, I'm constantly producing a bunch of equipment to fits onto my armor because what you usually do is you start with the modular armor that has a 5x5 thing but I've gone straight to the 
Power Armor Mark One that has a a um, an eight eight no seven by seven grid. So I've got a lot of equipment to put in it. And um, what I'm going for is I'm going to have a lot of shields, I think, and then maybe not so many of the personal laser defense because I've used that before in other playthroughs. Anyway, we're coming to the end now, so that'll be another episode. Until then, I should say thank you for watching, goodbye, and I'll see you next time.